Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, following yesterday's untethered iOS 7.0.4 jailbreak, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 6.1.3 and 6.1.5 for the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 4, and the iPhone 3GS. Now yes, this is an untethered jailbreak for older devices. Unfortunately, as of now, it only supports A4 devices, being the 4th generation iPod Touch and the iPhone 4, as well as the iPhone 3GS. I hate snow said it'll release an updated utility, hopefully on Christmas, so two days from now on December 25th, but currently you can jailbreak the three devices I had previously mentioned on either 6.1.3 or 6.1.5 in the case of the fourth generation iPod Touch untethered using Red Snow first and then updating inside of Cydia to get the untethered package. So yes, unfortunately, we will have to take advantage of a Red Snow workaround to get a tethered jailbreak first. And then from there, you will be able to install the untethered package from I Hate Snow and WinOCM to convert your jailbreak into an untethered one. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys that my iPod Touch here is indeed on iOS 6.1.5 by going inside of Settings General About and down below for the version Version, you can see that it does say 6.1.5 so again you know it is running the latest public version for the fourth generation iPod touch all right and with that out of the way you're going to need to have the latest version of red snow and the iOS 6.0 IPSW for your device download and the reason for that is because we're going to trick red snow into thinking we're on 6.0 when in reality we're either on 6.1.3 or 6.1.5 so I'll have a link to a post on my site down below in the more info and it contains download links for both Windows and OS X users. So I'm going to simply open Red Snow and at this point you're going to need to point Red Snow at your 6.0 IPSW. But first as you can see down below at the bottom it does confirm that this is an iPod Touch running iOS 6.1.5. So I'm going to quickly zoom in and I'll be right back. Alright now in order to select 6.0 go to the Extras tab at the bottom and then hit the option to select IPSW. Once you've pointed Red Snow at your 6.0 IPSW it will say that it successfully identified the build you can click OK to the prompt and then go back and you're going to select the option to jailbreak. From here it will just prepare the jailbreak data and you will get a few options depending on your device. You will need to check install Cydia and if you have a fourth generation iPod Touch it's up to you whether or not you want to enable battery percentage. From here just click next. It's going to tell you to both plug in and power off your device and it's going to prepare you to enter DFU mode. We can do that ahead of time though by holding down the home and power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is up up, you can release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. It will automatically bypass this screen inside of Red Snow once you've entered DFU mode. And keep in mind, DFU mode is just a black screen. So now we're on the right track because it did automatically proceed inside of Red Snow. and it's just going to download some of the jailbreak data right now. And once it goes through this step, it will enter the scrolling text screen. And when you're here, you know you've done it right and you know your device is being jailbroken. So I'm just going to leave it up on the screen throughout the duration of this video to show you guys how long this jailbreak process should take. All right, and this is actually the longest part, the moving applications process. Once it gets past this, it should reboot, but again, it does take quite some time for the moving applications portion. At this point, do not interface with your device, so don't touch either the home or power buttons. Just leave it alone and it will continue.
Okay, so now it's past moving applications, it's on to installing bundles, and it will reboot shortly. Now keep in mind, once the iPod Touch comes back up, we won't be done yet because again, as of now, this is still a tethered jailbreak. We're going to have to boot it tethered before we even have Cydia. And then once you do that, you will be able to add the repo and then obtain the untethered package to convert this tethered jailbreak into an untethered jailbreak. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to slide to unlock, and you will notice once I do, I don't have Cydia. So it should unlock shortly, and as you can see, I don't have Cydia yet. That is because we will need to perform a tethered reboot right now. And in order to do that, you're going to have to close out of Red Snow and then open it again. Now this is best because it prevents you from encountering any errors. So at this point, you can open Red Snow again, and we're going to need to point it at our iOS 6.0 IPSW, not 6.1.3 or 6.1.5. So again, go to Extras and then hit Select IPSW. And once the 6.0 IPSW has been opened, it will say Successfully Identified and you can click OK to the prompt. This time we're going to hit Just Boot at the top and then it's saying to both plug in and power off your device and it's going to prepare you to enter DFU mode. Again, we can do that ahead of time as long as it's plugged in. Just hold down the Home and Power buttons together for a total of 10 seconds. And once that 10 seconds is up, you can release the Power button and continue holding the Home button for another 10 seconds. Remember DFU mode is just a black screen and it will instantly bypass this screen inside of Red Snow once you've entered DFU mode. Alright, so we know we've done it successfully now and it's just exploiting the iPod Touch fourth generation here with Lime Rain. Okay, so once you get this pineapple logo here, you know you've done it right, and you know your device is going to boot back up tethered for what will hopefully be the last time once you install the untethered package. All right, so here we are at the lock screen. I'm going to unlock the iPod, and it should unlock shortly here. And as you can see by scrolling over, I have Cydia on my home screen here. So I'm just going to tap it to open it. I'm going to select user done. And it's going to load up here. I'm just going to let it load all of the packages and then we're actually going to add a repo of our own. We're going to add I hate snows repo so that again we can obtain the untethered package. All right, so now that it's finished, it's detected that I have three essential upgrades. I'm just going to ignore them temporarily. You will need to install them at some point though if you choose to ignore them right now. So I'm going to go down below to the Manage tab, Sources, and then Edit, Add, and we're going to add I Hate Snow's repo. So that's just repo, R-E-P-O dot I Hate Snow. So that's I H eight S N zero W dot com. And once you've typed in that repo, you're just going to hit add source. Now it will go through the process of adding the source. And if you didn't catch that the first time, don't worry, I will have it listed in the post that I have linked to down below in the more info so you can get it there. All right, now that it's added it, you can go ahead and hit return to Cydia. All right, now this part is very important. You're going to need to go down to the changes tab at the bottom and you're going to have to hit refresh. That way it will properly install the untethered package. Do not forget to perform this step. It is important. You will encounter errors if you don't do it when trying to download it. 
All right, now that it's refresh, I'm going to go down below to the Manage tab, and I'm going to go to Sources, and then we're going to go to I Hate Snow's Repo, and then from here you can install the package, which is just called POSIX Pwn. So once you go to it, you can hit Install, and then Confirm once you get the second screen, and it should download the package successfully now that you refreshed Cydia. All right, and at this point, I'm going to hit return to Cydia. I can actually just close out of it right now. And I'm also going to close out of Red Snow on my desktop and completely unplug the iPod Touch. This is the moment of truth right here where we determine if this is indeed an untethered jailbroken iPod Touch on iOS 6.1.5. So I'm going to hold down the power button, slide the power off, and we're going to turn it back on once it turns off. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on, and it's going to boot back up, hopefully into its jailbroken state. And for those of you who don't know, that's the distinct difference between a tethered and an untethered jailbreak. With a tethered jailbreak, you have to plug your device into your computer and rerun a certain part of the jailbreak utility every time you need to boot it back up. With an untethered jailbreak, you can simply reboot it at will. All right, so here we go, it did boot up, and now I'm going to open Cydia for a final time just to show you guys that it works after performing a reboot. All right, so here we go, I'm going to hit ignore temporary again at the bottom, and I'm also going to go to Cydia, and I'm going to scroll down to show you guys that this does confirm that this iPod Touch is indeed on iOS 6.1.5. As you can see, it says iPod Touch 4G iOS 6.1.5, Cydia 1.1.8. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope it helped you jailbreak either your fourth generation iPod Touch, your iPhone 4, or your iPhone 3GS on either 6.1.3, or 6.1.5. Also keep in mind that I Hate Snow is again going to push out an updated version of his jailbreak hopefully on December 25th, two days from now. If and when he does, I will release a new and updated jailbreak tutorial video and I'll also have an annotation on the screen letting you know that. And of course, if you like this video, it helped you jailbreak and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And don't forget to visit freeapplife.com inside of Safari, sign up for an account, download the FAL Activate app, open it once, start downloading sponsored applications to earn points, and redeem those points for various prizes such as paid application codes inside of Apple's App Store and also gift cards. Once you sign up for the service, you'll also be eligible for numerous giveaways that we hold on a regular basis. And finally, to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and jailbreak tutorials, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.